what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. Season 5 is officially live in today's video we're going to go over everything you need to know about it, what you need to do to earn XP including how to get all of the best free rewards from this field pass. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. It's going to start with the welcome pack. Hopefully most of you received this welcome pack. I know in, in prior season pass, especially season four, there was an issue where some people did not get this one. The starter pack is going to contain the featured player for this season five field pass, which is going to be Derrick Henry. There's also a mutt tip in here that gives you a little bit of advice or information on it, but that's why you're watching this video. So don't worry about that mutt tip. The featured player again is Derrick Henry. He starts at an 89 overall and you can get this card all the way up to a 98 overall for free by grinding through the field pass now one big question that i have on this one and we're going to try to find out right away is will he get his x factor the angry runs x factor that one of his earlier items in the year got let's go ahead and see and the answer to that question is going to be no so a little bit of a disappointment now with all of these cards and we'll show you the rest of the season five field pass cards in a moment but they're all going to get access to discounted abilities unfortunately ea changed this and they changed some other things as well in prior cards you could access to those uh, discounted abilities right away not without even fully upgrading the card he does get running back apprentice for one ap and arm bar for zero ap you have to get to a 98 overall so that's a big big disappointment here in the second to last bucket he does get bulldozer for zero tank for one or reach for it for one uh, without having to upgrade and pass this initial step and he starts out at an 89 in the welcome pack but literally spending it looks like the five training i think is what we spent uh, he goes up to a 92 overall already no he is actually an 89 so the first collectible is going to get him up to a 92 let's go over the field pass to show you exactly how you're going to earn those collectibles and all of the other free rewards i'm going to throw up the full list of rewards from this entire field pass on your screen but if you want to scroll through them in game as always you're going to use your d-pad to go left and right to see them and early on you're going to get some very minimal rewards but at level four you do get a 93 overall Patrick Peterson now he's one of three players that can actually go up to a 97 overall once you get to level 50 this field pass is available for about 48 days so I know a lot of people thought that it was going to take two months to get these cards that should not be the case we're probably looking at more like five to six weeks to fully max out this field pass depending on how much you grind and how much XP you earn uh, along with the other field passes that are going to be coming out like the combine promo and the brand new competitive pass that comes out on friday so this is one of your featured players there's some rare option packs in here i don't know what exactly is in here once i unlock this one hopefully today we'll probably put out a quick youtube short or a tiktok video on my tiktok channel showing you exactly what is in this rare option pack there's also going to be a season five set token once you get i think it's to level 46 you're going to have four of these tokens. You can actually trade these in for a free 97 overall. We don't know what players will be in the pack, but there's going to be 10 choices. You get to pick one. It will be a BND. Save these set tokens for season five. There's other options to use one or two or three tokens. You want to save all of them and redeem them for that free 97 overall towards the end of the field pass. Your first Derrick Henry upgrade token is going to happen at level 10. So you're going to use this token in his upgrade path, and that will get him up to a 92 overall. As I said, eventually you'll be able to get this card all the way to a 98 overall you can see here at level 20 you're going to get another token at level 30 you get one the next one's going to be at level 40 and i think the final one's actually going to be level 45 so we talked about the patrick peterson eventually going up to a 97 overall at level 50 you're going to get a season 5 97 overall player upgrade so in the last pass or season 4 you got one token that only allows you to upgrade one of three players it was chris jones ty law joe montana uh, to me, it looks like, and the way they explained it last night on the reveal stream, that you're going to get a token that allows you to upgrade all three players. So we talked about how Patrick Peterson is one of them. Let's talk about the others. It's going to be Keyshawn Johnson and TJ Watt. You get the initial Keyshawn Johnson card at level 16. He's a 95 overall that will go up to a 97 once you hit level 50. 
and then the TJ Watt is going to come a little bit further in the pass at level 34. He's going to start out at a 96 overall, and with those tokens at level 50, you can get him to a 97 overall. They don't get any team chemistry. That's not how it's been all year. Uh, Andrew Whitworth is another featured player in this field pass at level 43. He's going to start and stay at a 97 overall. He gets Identifier for zero AP, so this is a really good card in my opinion. And those are going to be all of the free player rewards that you get in this field pass. A couple other things to point out. You got XP, I'm sorry, you got coins, you got random packs. There's going to be uniforms in here. There's some strategy items. When you get to level 47, you're going to get a collectible that gives you 20,000 XP towards the season six field pass, which again, will be in basically about 49 days. I looked it up. That appears to be April 17th. So that's when season six will be going live. That's also right around the time of the NFL draft and the NFL draft promo. So you'll have to think or maybe wonder if the season six field pass will have any type of NFL draft theme to it or any type of reward awards but that's when this one will come to an end and we'll get a brand new one there are some additional packs in here like a legendary strategy item pack at level 48 a legendary option pack there's also an epic option pack earlier on now i don't know if these are going to be any relation to strategy items that's kind of what I think because there are rare epic and legendary strategy items. So that's kind of what it's sounding like to me. I would hope that these included players, but now that I kind of look at the verbiage and you see the color, there's purple, legendary's gold. These fall in line with the strategy items as well. So I think that's what you're going to be able to expect in these packs. I'm sure one of your biggest questions is how do you level this pass up fast? How do you earn XP? Everything that you can do at this very moment is going to be found in the milestone tab. Doing your daily objectives extremely important because the more days you do those dailies, the more XP you get. So if we go to the daily tab here, here are my three daily objectives for the day. These usually reset every day at about 1030 a.m. Eastern time. So make sure you get them done because if you take a look at the daily tracker, as I mentioned here, when you get two dailies done, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, you're going to earn big chunks of XP. This is one of the main ways that people level up this field pass fast. So make it a habit to get those dailies done every day. Every Wednesday, we're usually about 1.30 p.m. Eastern time, we get new weekly objectives. So the first week objectives are here. Three of the four can be completed today. This one, making 25 red zone trips with NFL combine players in your lineup cannot be completed until at least tomorrow. Remember tomorrow, part one of the combine promo comes out. Saturday is gonna be part two. So that's gonna be another way to get XP. And then you have the season five token. So this is a token that would have been earned in the season four field pass if you didn't earn it then you're not going to be able to use it but this is how you get a 20k jump start on the current field pass and it's kind of the same design that we have with that season six token that i just showed you not too long ago now in previous field passes specifically the competitive pass was a great way to get a jump start on the current field pass EA took that away. I'm not very happy about this one. It was fine for season two, season three, and season four, but season five, six months into the game, they decided no more fun for you guys. And what I mean by that is level 40, for example, in the current competitive pass, which actually expires in less than two days now at this point, this gave 35,000 season XP. And what people would do, and they've done it for so many other field passes, is they would purposely not hit this level like I plan to do. And when the new season pass went live like it did today, they would then go in and grind the comp pass to get this XP. I think level 44 was another one that gave 35,000 season XP. They took it out of the game and replaced it with coins. Not a good move by EA. Now, again, we're going to get a brand new competitive pass this Friday, two days from today. That one should feature season XP rewards. So as of right now, we are missing out on that opportunity to get some XP from the old comp pass applied to the brand new season pass. But in two more days, we'll have a new comp pass that gives another opportunity to earn season five XP. And more than likely, that combine promo that starts tomorrow will also likely have uh, season five XP in it. So there should be some more opportunities on the way. But for now, as of today, literally the only way that you're going to be able to go ahead and earn season five XP are in those milestone tabs. Excuse me, the uh, week one tab objectives and the dailies, which you can't even do two dailies right now. Uh, some other things to point out, as I kind of told you guys, and yes, yesterday's do this now video a bunch of other field passes have disappeared some of them were moved to the archive section the only one that's more recent is the genki force promo 
This goes away in a little bit over eight days here. Super Bowl field pass is gone. Playoff field pass is gone. If you tried to save any XP in the Genki Force field pass, that was also converted to coins. I'm not surprised that they did that because we saw with smaller promos, they did that in the in the uh, prior seasons. It was the competitive pass that they usually never touched until they did it this time around. Also, no new team captains along with this content drop. Now on Monday, and it's usually every other Monday, there should be new objectives that get added into the game to earn more XP. The XP is gonna get more tokens, but there are no new players that you can upgrade. And as far as I'm understanding as of right now, the team captains that are currently available still only go up to a 94 overall. We might see them jump to a 95 uh, either Thursday or Friday of this week. At this very moment, the Genki Force house rules appear to be done because I have this claim reward screen. Last time I tried to do it, it gave me an error message, so I'm not gonna bother, but I believe house rules is done. Now the store offers are still there, so if you happen to have any stars, I would recommend spending those as soon as possible because those could go away. Another thing that still seems to be around right now is the Super Bowl head-to-head -head event. This was supposed to expire back on February 15th. It's been a great opportunity to make a lot of coins. It's still there. So if you're decent at the game, you might want to continue to play through this until EA takes it away. Now, the game hasn't fully updated for the day because today is Wednesday. We got weekly wildcard content coming out, but it's not going to be out until 1.30. That also goes for the same thing with the store. The store hasn't fully updated so you're probably going to see new pack offers at 130. You're going to see new weekly wildcard content. One thing to keep an eye out on is if you go to the special offers tab, this didn't happen with season four, but it did happen with seasons two and three. At 130, there's a small chance that some type of offers may go live accidentally. So I would go over to the special offers tab at 130 just to see if all of these get unlocked accidentally because it's happened in the past. Uh, the main pack reward at the end is a 96 overall ultimate legend fantasy pack for $25. I don't think this is worth it. Again, at level 50, we're probably going to be in the month of April at that point and 96 is they're not going to be unusable, but we could potentially be at 98 and almost 99 overall cards by then. So this pack is good right now, but by the time people unlock it, it will not be. A lot of times with a new season, we get new upgrade sets. I don't see any type of new elite, a player exchange set. 92 to 93 is still the highest one that was there for season four. Also, no legendary strategy item set that requires two epic strategy items. There are a handful of strategy items, it appears, that you can earn for free within the Season 5 Field Pass, but keep an eye out over the next week or so for a legendary strategy upgrade set. I wouldn't be surprised if they add that in there, and we will do an updated video for Season 5 on the best strategy items to use very, very soon. We did also get a brand new gameplay patch today, but it didn't really do too much. It basically got rid of or reverted the fatigue Fatigue on blitzing defensive backs, specifically those edge blitzers. They originally were going to try to penalize you if you blitz those guys off the edge far too frequently. They reverted it, scrapped it, said they're going to work on it in the future, but for now it's just not a thing and fatigue is going to be back to normal. We will link the gameplay patch notes down below in the comment section as a pinned comment if you want to read through them yourself, but there's not really anything that's huge in there that's worth really mentioning other than that. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. Go get to working on that XP. More videos on the way. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.